Okay, first off, I better be cognizant of the battery power. I thought for sure I had charged this one. I've got two batteries, but i um, really surprised. Okay, so thank goodness for doing videos and taking a snapshot image. At least I'm smart. I, I know I'm recording from down on the floor again, but at least I put it on my Lazy General, so that's not too bad. I was actually not going to do a video until a bit later in the game, but... Um, this is now running into a, a realm where it's like there's a lot of people that seem to know the soldiers soldiers rules so if they see me um, do something wrong hopefully they'll go whoa 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 that doesn't seem right so we're at the beginning of turn eight uh, probably gonna see quite a bit of action it all started due to the fact that um, that sa sacrificial lamb thing I made a monstrous error I should have moved that guy over to here to take an extra get an extra point or two on the machine gun as far as I know, so we'll do the machine gun first. I'm still keeping the observed uh, targets on them just due to the fact that there's a lot of light woods. If they do survive, um, people further away or whatever are still going to need it. So that guy, the infantry that moved in on the river, is able to um, uh, go against him. The machine gun is in woods, I do believe. No, it's just in light woods. Okay, so that means adjacent. Let me take a look at my stuff again. I think it's three. It's just a bit better than being in the clear, as far as I remember. Yeah, all right. And so everybody else gets to use indirect fire. Uh, well, this guy, this guy gets to... Sh See, this is the weird... I've got to remind myself as well that uh, I've made the hexes so big compared to the counters, I have to be uh, yet again cognizant of, wait a minute, that guy can't actually shoot. It's from the center to the center kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm still learning so much about tactical warfare or tacti tactical wargaming. It's just completely, it's a real mind bender in some ways. It's very mind opening as well, though it's lovely. So as far as I know, this guy can uh, shoot directly this guy can't shoot because he's in the way. See what I mean? Like, mm, it's the hexes are so huge. Well, that's right. If I'm using hex to hex, then I should shush and it's not the counters. So could he shoot from... Yes, he can. So this guy can, this guy can, this guy can, correct? And this guy can't because he got uh, disabled. That's why these guys are observed. And the machine gun moved a lot. The both artillery field guns did not. And as far as I know, the field artillery, that's the whole point of having artillery, is they can fire over people. As far as I remember. Uh, oh my goodness, wait a minute. There's a uh, little diagram of uh, showing how you can fire with artillery somewhere around here. Somewhere. I think I'm okay. As long as he's not like on above an elevation. You know what I mean? You're not on a hill, a slope, and I'm not. Okay, but with indirect fire, everybody's um, attack strength is halved. This guy's still in an improved position. However, since I'm adjacent, my attack strength is going to be doubled, as far as I remember. So we've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and I'm attacking the terrain. And it's light woods. Uh, um, I know we should, but we're still going to go with the three, if that makes sense. That's the way I'm looking at it, because that's why they're able to do what they're doing. Okay, so that, uh, what did I say? 20 to three? Sorry, I'm not the most, uh, so that's six to one odds. And because I'm doing the reserve troop uh, rule for both sides, I'm still looking at the battery. They're the allied side. I have to uh, add two to the die roll. So that's six to one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, I'll put it here quickly. So it's a four to a six. I have no idea what that does. Hold on here. So a six to one uh, with a six is a disrupted. That's excellent. That was actually what I was hoping, well, obviously I would love to have eliminated him, but I'm really happy about that. Okay, so you're observed. I still keep you, I'm gonna keep you in the observed land. 
and you can't fire back. Oops, that's a friendly one, sorry. Hold on, I'm gonna find it. This game, my god, this game. Alright. So you can't fire back. Now this guy, because we do the dominoes effect thing, is allowed to fire back at somebody. Um, can't, uh, because I'm doing hex to hex, I could shoot at this guy, which would make sense. So I'm going to, I'm going to do so. Um, and then, like I said, these guys are going to, sh oh, I'm supposed to finish off these guys' shots and then go after them. So let's do that properly then. All right, so here we go. This guy's in wood, so it's going to be a different kettle of fish. And we're going from center of the hex to the center of the hex. So that means this guy can shoot, unless I'm doing something bizarre wrong. Uh, so this guy can shoot, this guy can shoot, uh, this guy can shoot, this guy can shoot, and this guy can shoot. Correct. And so could this guy. I, unless I'm doing something, that's why I said I'm really hoping people can uh, say, no, 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 Chris, you're, you're, wait, you're so off base. But maybe, they, like they said, it's from the center of the hex to the center of the hex. He's adjacent, he's adjacent, he's adjacent. They're all going to get doubled. And uh, and then I'm going to, so that's, uh, and they're in woods. So, all right, let's count, uh, count up his uh, guys here. So that's 8, 16, 24. Um, he's not, uh, he can, he, that's observed because he's in the woods. So that's 26. This guy's yet again was observed uh, in the woods. Uh, 28 and uh, 30. Well, 30 to the woods. Hold on, I'll check the, the woods. But he's in an improved position, so it's doubled. So that's a 10, so 3 to 1 odds. I think I'm doing this right. And like I said, add plus 2 to the die roll. If I'm not doing it right, then hopefully somebody will help me out. So it's a four, yet again that'll be a D. Uh, what am I saying? I don't know that. Uh, it's a six, so it it's actually is a D. So uh, he'll be uh, continued on, disabled. Hold on, I just gotta switch him on over. Uh, and I think, uh, like I said, I've got one infantry, uh, German infantry dude that can actually do something. And I'll have to put an observed marker on this guy. Just, you know what I mean? He's in the woods and he's shooting. So um, that's the way it's going to be. Just in the off chance. Yeah, I've got to make more observed markers, I can tell you that much. There aren't very many. That's why I started using the little beads. I don't even know if I've got one around. Well, I'll put this, uh, I'll put the devastation marker, it'd almost be like a harbinger or something. I'll put on this just to remind myself that he's been observed. I mean, technically I would have to put him as observed as well. I should do that because of he's far out in the light woods. So technically you could say, well, hold on here. That makes sense. So some of these are, oh, you can tell, like that's a handmade one. This one I made. I was running out of uh, markers. Because they've got, if that's the uh, the cardboard look to the ones. Yeah, I'd have to start, uh, i have to clue this in. That's it, I'm going to stop. Oh, no, what am I saying? I've got that this attack here. So we're going to go with, um, but he's on the shit. They get to use the defensive bonus for the riverbank. Shit. So should I go for this guy? Center of the hex to the center of the hex. It would be observed because... Um, hmm. now, hold on here. I think they're both... I think the canals are both observed as well. Except for... Yeah, I think so because it's... Hold on here. Canal hex, C combat, E. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I can't do direct fire, so I get chopped in half. 
Shoot. Um, that's the way it goes. A okay, combat example E. Sorry, I guess I'm trying to learn things still. Units which have not yet fired are considered hidden. No, 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 no. Thus, after that, all units may fire freely at a one. No, 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 no. So yeah, he's one, two, and the. I th as far as I know, I think the canal does as long as I'm on the riverbank and not adjacent to the river, like on another riverbank thing. Um, they get some pretty good stuff. So I'll probably have to use observed fire on that guy, and that's just the way it's going to be. So I'm going to get a two, and I'm firing on whatever the hell a riverbank is. Or, um, so it's four. Reduce the two if the attacker has line of sight from another canal. No. Um, and that's just the way it goes. And I've got plus one to my die roll because I'm um, on the German side for reserve troops. So another four, three fours in a row. Interesting. Um, and I said that was a, hold on here, what did I say that? Was a two? So I think it's one to two odds. Yeah, one, one to two odds. And I got a four and I rolled a five. No effect. Not good. Not good. But it's now, um, oops, I put on the wrong um, cube. So now it's the eighth. Uh, yeah, I just there's only six up there, so I'm just going around. So it's going to be the um, German uh, thing, but my, oh my, things are going to get pretty flippin' bloody pretty quick. And maybe the 12 turns. I was thinking maybe 15, but... Uh, I don't know, so far so good. It's a fascinating map, I think, for a tactical, um, uh, for soldiers anyways. It seems really, really neat. Okay, hope you're having fun. See you, man.